On the 1st of November 2022, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who at the time was the presidential candidate for the APC, held a town hall in Lagos. I was one of the panelists at the town hall, and I remember during the discussions, um, numbers and figures were bandied, and it was um, stated at the time that um, the infrastructure deficit in Nigeria, according to the World Bank, was pegged around $3 trillion. Now, since um, the onset of this administration, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been committed to ensuring that Nigeria bridges its infrastructure gap. One of the best policies to come out from this administration is the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road, a 700-kilometer, 10-lane road going all the way from Lagos along the coastal region all the way to Calabar. This road is certain to increase economic development with vast multiplier effects for the local economies. You can imagine the developments that happen on both sides of the road. But most importantly, it will open up the bottleneck along the port cities, which are very vital to the economy of Nigeria. In the middle of that 10-lane uh, road, there's um, a train track running the entire length, and there are two spores on the road leading to northern Nigeria. What this means for the local economies in the southern part of Nigeria is that there's going to be a multiplier effect, there's going to be a boom, and this is going to stretch across the entire con country. And even into that effect is going to be felt by um, our neighboring countries, whether it's Cameroon or Benin or Niger to the north. Um, this investment is one of the biggest investments in the history of infrastructure in not just Nigeria, not just West Africa, but in Africa as a continent and as a whole. Uh, we're excited about it. The people of Calabar, especially the Southern Senatorial District where the road will terminate, are extremely excited. If they have one prayer, if they have one amendment, it would be that while the Lagos end has started, that it would be wise that the Calabar end should start as well so that they are being constructed concurrently such that um, it bridges the time in which it would take for the road to be completed. This road is a game changer from and on behalf of the constituents of Cross River South. We are extremely grateful. It's extremely commendable. And with a heart full of gratitude to His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, we say thank you and may this work progress swiftly.